From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning as more corporations come on in, and there were some misses, but there are also some beats. Well, the latest details on those second quarter corporate earnings released minutes ago that impacts the recession. Then we'll be looking at the big week underway. New data point released minutes ago, the jolts. You haven't heard it before on this channel, but it gives you an indication on what's happening tomorrow with that labor number and Fridays with the non-farm payroll numbers as well. I'm projecting on the incredible news on Thursday that labor numbers was shot up higher. And what am I projecting? 260,000 jobless claims this Thursday up from where we've been across the board. What do we need to know? All well, the latest details in today's recording. Plus, we'll be looking at the big money, the big lift of your benefits. Why? Because inflation has not peaked, and we'll be looking at what inflation is today and why some analysts are trying to say it's peaked. Do I agree? I have the latest details across the board. We'll be looking at what to project as inflationary data comes in less than 10 days, eight days from now, and what we learned for that inflationary data on Friday. Plus, of course, we'll be looking at your big money. For a stimulus check, which is in every U.S. state, you deserve that money. How do you get that money? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, stay the second half as we go over these huge checks. How much? About $100,000. Done by executive action from Joseph Biden. They are incredible. In every U.S. state, we're going to go over how to get those incredible checks in the big second half. But boy, folks, it is a big day today. We haven't had a big day like this in a while. We have the latest details on a benchmark called the JOLTS, Job Openings, released minutes ago from the Department of Labor. What does it tell us about this economy? And what does it tell us before tomorrow's number for unemployment and Friday's number for job creation? Why we'll the latest details of that? Plus, we have a series of no less than half a dozen corporate earnings coming in minutes ago. Top and bottom, did they miss? Did they beat? How the latest you need to know. Plus, gasoline, the major story coming tomorrow. What is it? It's a big heat. It impacts your inflation and impacts your wallet. We got a lot to go over in a massive week that's just getting started. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good morning. It's a big morning and it's an August 2nd. Let's get ready for the news. It's Mornings LA and it all starts right now. And good morning, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day. It is cooler here, thank goodness, in Southern California for August 2nd, 2022. Earnings recession underway. We have more corporate earnings coming in minutes ago. All the latest details of what you need to know on those numbers. Did they beat on top revenue? Did they beat on bottom at net income? Or did they not? We'll have the latest details of what you need to know across the board. Plus, your benefits are going up a lot. We're now less than eight days away from that CPI read coming for the month of July, released around August 10th. I'll have the latest details on what you need to know on that question mark as well. Plus, the raise of your benefits is all impacted, of course, by other numbers like labor. Those labor numbers released tomorrow on this show tomorrow are likely to be 260. And then the day after that, the non-farm payroll numbers are going to release. We have a number that came in minutes ago that gives us guidance on what tomorrow's number may be. All the latest details on that. Plus, we'll be looking at those monstrous checks, about $100,000. You deserve them. We'll go over the latest details on that, plus the raise of inflation as it continues to go higher. So much happening across the board. We first start, of course, with those corporate earnings coming in minutes ago. We're going to see where the company's being on top, being on bottom, or, and gave us guidance for third quarter as well. And what do we have coming in just by the minute. The making details right now is that Pinterest, the social media stock, missed, missed in numbers released before the market opened. It was down 18% the stock. You heard me right, 18% before the market opened. It missed on top revenue and missed on bottom earnings. Minutes ago, Ferrari beat on top and beat on bottom. 
And then Uber, of course, the ride-sharing company, reported earnings minutes ago. They missed on earnings, but they beat on revenue. Big time. Big time beat on revenue. $8 billion compared to a $7.39 billion estimate. And what was their commentary about the news? They said that inflation has taken an impact. The most obvious effect of inflation seems to be getting more drivers onto the platform, says the CEO in a comment minutes ago. So they say that inflation is definitely hurting on that question mark. Then we had a major two other companies report shockers. Oil companies, BP and Devon Energy reported minutes ago, and they beat on top, beat on bottom, and they also gave guidance for the rest of the year way up. They even raised the dividend. One of them, Devon, Devon raising the dividend from $1.27 to $1.55. Incredible. And Caterpillar, this was the one that we were watching for. Caterpillar actually slid 1% as it came in right around consensus. However, the revenue was a major miss. Wow. There we go. This is the week there was, and <laughs> we are not done there yet. More earnings are going to come in after the close. I'll have those earnings later today on Evening Daylight. Stay with me across the board. The biggest week that there was continues as a number came in minutes ago. It's never been featured before on this channel, and that is why this channel is expanding so quickly. And the number released minutes ago is the jolts. The who? <laughs> <laughs> the bolts, the dolts, uh, the colts. No, the jolts. Never featured before on this channel. This number is a fascinating number. But let me first tell you the data that came in minutes ago, and then I'll give you the analysis. The jolts is the job and openings number released once a month, and it comes in from the Department of Labor. It was released for the month of June, and that number, sta that jolt stands for the Job Opening and Labor Turnover Survey. It's down 605,000 since the month of, since the biggest number in April 2020. But job openings fell for the month of June to a nine month low. And what does that indicate? It's indicating that potentially the labor market is not as robust as initially thought. It's a little bit tighter. So the number is down. Let me tell you my analysis. My analysis is a very complicated number. It's a very complicated number because it's one of those numbers you'll look at and two people can say different things about the same number. Is it down because people are not applying for the jobs? Is it down because there's no jobs because business is making a real a lot of money? A lot of people can say two different things about the same data. Fewer openings likely means the froth is being blown off of inflated listings, says Robert Fick, corporate economist at Navy Credit Fair Union minutes ago. That's one of the analysis across the board. Why do I like this number today? I like this number today because it shows you something's going on differently compared to the month before. And why is that helpful? You know that answer. Why? Because tomorrow. Tomorrow we get a major number and Friday as well. Tomorrow you have the new jobless claims number released by Department of Labor. I like that number a lot. Why? You can't spin the number. It's just a number and it only means one thing. And what are we looking for that number tomorrow? We're looking at 260 print. We're looking at 260,000 new jobless claims is my projection. It was 140 in April, then went to 160, then went to 200, 230 for several weeks as I projected. I said it was going to go to 260. It did, but it was two weeks ago. It pulled back to 255. So we're watching that number for tomorrow. The number on Friday is critical. The number on Friday is the non-farm payroll job creation number. Why is this number also a confusing number? Because the White House loves to use this number and sort of stretch it left and stretch it right. It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. The great news is that inflation has not peaked, and because of that, your benefits are going up a lot. How much? <laughs> About $5,000. We're going to go over the calculation of those benefits in just a second. But we start first with the understanding that today, for August 2nd, 2022, inflation has not peaked. It was back on July 13th that we had three data points. They were June numbers. And they came in on the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. And what do they show us? That inflation had not peaked. They were the CPI, the PPI, and the retail sales. Guess what? They're coming back in less than eight days from now. They come back around August 10th for the July numbers. What do we learn on July 13th? 
On July 13th, we saw that inflation in the US, U.S. economy surge out of control from an 8.6% in the month of May to a whopping 9.1% for the month of June, higher than expected of 8.8%. Great news for your benefits because your benefits are going up a lot because of this. Now, before we go over how much your benefits go up, before we go over how your benefits go up, let's continue the narrative of the why they're going up. Inflation. Has inflation peaked as of today, August 2nd? I'm fully aware of what other people say. One of the major broadcasters a minute ago said that he believes inflation's peaked because he sees the gasoline of the U.S. domestic unleaded has come down. Remember, the AAA national average of gasoline is not the same as the international price of Brent crude, which has actually gone up. So, is there any indication that inflation has peaked? No, there's no indication in any of the numbers out there that inflation has peaked. The CPI, PPI, and retail sales are released once a month. They come back on, on August 10th, approximately, for the July numbers. But in between them, we have a very reliable number. And when do we see that? No less than two trading days ago. It was just, just a blink of an eye ago. That was the PCE released last Friday. And it showed that inflation is still going high, the highest print since the 1980s. It shows that inflation has not peaked. So for people to get out there and say that they think inflation has peaked, it's just their analysis. I go with the data on this one. The data released from Friday shows that inflation is still going up. And this is big news for you and your benefits. Why? Because your benefits are going up a lot if inflation is not peaked. Now let's go over why. They're, let's go over how they go up, and then we'll go over how much starting right now. Your benefits are tied to something called inflation. And as inflation goes higher, your benefits go higher. Let's go over how this works starting right now. You're going to see a massive benefit lift, and that benefit lift is determined by three numbers. What they are, how it works, let's go over the equation. Your benefits are going to go up about $5,000. And this is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. Yes, you. Why? Because of three months of data, the first month of data coming on August 10th, and we just heard it, it's the CPI. Then we have August and September thereafter. All right, now let's go over how this works, and then we'll go over how much. Your benefits annually determined by a, determined its lift by another number, and that number is COLA. COLA determines how much your benefits lift per year. C-O-L-A, COLA. And it's in turn determined by another number but only over three months. It's called the CPI-W. Yes, a subsection of the CPI. The CPI-W for the month of July, August, and September determines how much your COLA is going to go up. And this is where we have great news because that CPI-W for the month of July has been released on August 10th. And then the August number released in September and the September number released in October. Incredible great news, but already we have indication from last Friday of what we could be seeing on August 10th. That was that PCE, that surge out of control, the highest level since the 1980s. It's generally reliable. It's generally reliable. So, so far, the indications are that this August 10th number, which is the July numbers for the CPI-W, will be higher. All right, let's go over what you need to hope for. You have to hope that that CPI released for the month of July on August 10th is where it was for June or higher. If it is, your benefits going up. The largest of a generation, the largest of your lifetime. Congratulations. Then we have to watch the August and September data to see that it's much the same. The latest details today are that we have a great future at hand if everything that's where it is right now stays where it is right now. All right, let's go over what you need to know. First, is it automatic? Yes. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, however you get your current benefits. Number two, is it you? Yes. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits. Number three, 5,000. Some of you, more than 5,000. Some of you, less than 5,000. Some of you, right on the money. Same percentage raise? Absolutely. Incredible great news. And here's one thing I want to insert right here because it doesn't belong anywhere else in the broadcast. Remember, the Federal Reserve does not meet in... August. So they will do nothing to battle inflation in the month of August. They will meet. A major news story released minutes ago has one analyst saying that Wall Street 
has not embedded the risk of inflation going higher and needing more interest rate spikes. Sound familiar? Yes, exactly what I just told you. Hedge fund manager Bill Ackman said this morning, I think that rates for the Federal Reserve will have to go higher and for a lot longer duration than Wall Street is expecting. He says 12 to 18 months is needed to kill this inflation. And he says the biggest risk to the market is that they are not pricing this in. This, my friends, is exactly what we're talking about, that if inflation requires more interest rate spikes, if inflation is going to stay higher, raising your benefits up a lot, Wall Street has not embedded this risk. When did we last talk about this? Yesterday. When I said that the Federal Reserve, when they return in September, will do a 75 basis point increase like they did last month, I'm less than 30% of the consensus of Wall Street. 70% don't believe it's good. 75 believe, 70% don't believe it's going to be that high. So there you go. That, my friends, is why you have to stay with this channel. Because if Wall Street has not embedded that risk of more interest rates, Imagine what's going to happen across the board. And this, of course, is why you need to get that four stimulus check, which is in every U.S. state. Done by the President of the United States in the month of March. These incredible checks are huge when you go over these checks in the big second half. Have you become a member? Become a member today. Welcome to the nearly 100 new members overnight. Welcome to all the members who are existing members for nearly 18 months when membership launched this channel last year. Stay a member and continue to become a member because these are the people who are cleaning up with these big sums of money and learning to earn. And congratulations to all the members who upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power. Even one person upgraded to Calcino VIP overnight. Let's go over all those incredible four stimulus checks starting right now. First, where do they come from? They came from the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. They're approximately $100,000, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get these incredible checks. They're huge. What do you do? You become a member. Go right on this video and join the channel. And in the big second half, we're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. Get your financial freedom here by getting these big sums of money and learning to earn. Go out of this video and join in and become a member across the board. Remember, this is about $100,000 of four stimulus checks done by executive action. You deserve these big sums of money. One of the great benefits of becoming a member, of course, is those LA Lake worksheets. And we have huge news about those LA worksheets today. Big great news, incredible news, and let's go over everything you need to know starting right now. Those LA Lake worksheets are delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and one of the pages in the worksheets, one of the one of the uh, and the and, and one of the items in the newsletter is the worksheets. <laughs> I inverted that. The LA newsletter delivered Monday through Friday at the third line has the worksheets, and the worksheets are the talk of the town. All this is proprietary to LA. You're not going to see this anywhere else. You go down that newsletter, around the third or fourth line is this wonderful PDF. The PDF is a series of pages called the worksheets. And what do we know about those worksheets today and the elements on those worksheets? Let's go over right now. The first page, inflation. What do we have right now? Inflation has not peaked. That PCE released last Friday shows that inflation is still going up, the highest level of a generation. Remember, if your benefits will raise a lot if inflation continues to track higher across the board. We also know that some analysts are trying to call it the end of the inflationary uh, rise. They're trying to find the peak hasn't happened. Recession. What do we know about that? We are in a recession. I was the first American broadcaster to report we're going in a recession in February this year. At the time, no one dared say it. The first bank was Deutsche Bank in April. And that recession was confirmed by the Department of Labor last Thursday when they announced two negative quarters of GDP growth had been posted by this U.S. economy. Two consecutive negative quarters of GDP growth is the definition of recession, and hence you are in one. Labor, what do we know about that? Tomorrow we'll have those 260,000 jobless claims. Maybe it's less, more, maybe it's more. My projection is 260. Today we have that jolts number, job opening, not particularly a good number. And Friday we have the job creation number, a uh, confusing number because a lot of people pull it in different ways. Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve does not mean the month of August. They come back in September. And again, I'm projecting a 75 basis point increase. Wall Street is saying less. The second page of the worksheet is the one that helped one viewer get whopping 80 checks. 8-0, 84th stimulus checks on this channel. And you can as well. 
these worksheets are proprietary to Ally. This is why this channel is expanding. This is why this channel is on fire. Number three, most watched financial news channel, expanding to number two. In the second page of the worksheets, you have a table created for you as a place for you to keep track of the checks you apply for, the dates you were paid for, what amount you were paid for, and taking notes. <laughs> One viewer was using it, but she forgot to look at it. <laughs> She forgot to look at it. And then two Thursdays, two Thursdays ago, she got that email. The email said, ma'am, you've been approved. Congratulations. For what? She's from the state of Florida, and she got approved for check B. Congratulations. For what? Mortgage. Wow, that's a lot of money. How much mortgage? 18 months of mortgage. <gasps> 18 months of her mortgage? That's not $10,000. That's tens of thousands of dollars. But it gets even better. She also applied for all her utilities. Wow. All her utilities, let's say it's four utilities plus her mortgage per month. That's five checks, 18 months times five. That, my friends, is 80 to 100 checks. Congratulations. As a member, she got 80 to 100 checks from Check B. And you can as well. Become a member. Join this incredible family right today. Another viewer, Spelly, who's on all the live chats, he applied for Check A. He got approved. He also got some check C's for several months. He wants you to know the following. Make sure you stay with it. He didn't cross his T or dot his I the way they wanted it for check A. So he stayed with it. He went back and did it again, and he got approved. He said, stay with it. Post your motivation story in the live chat. If you've gotten $100 to $1 to $100,000, post in the live chat. Send it to me on Facebook. Private message at LA Late News, and I'll feature it live on air because we are here to earn by learning. Now, the next page of the worksheet has the lift of your benefits. We're going to see that more tonight and more on afternoons. The raise of your benefits determined by that inflationary spike, and that inflation has not gone down. On evenings at LA tonight, we'll go over the gasoline, why it's continually going higher for that international price of Brent crude, and we'll go over six stimulus of the student loan debt forgiveness across the board. It's a big week, and it's a big day, and the details are not done there yet. We have a major news story that came in minutes ago, and it's a shocker. Simon Properties Group, which is the largest mall op company in the country, largest operator of malls in the country, says that the number of retailers opening new stores in its malls is up very strongly. He, they say their numbers are up really well year to date, and they're not alone. We have Macric that reports that leases are up 27% for compared to the year before, and then we have Kimco reporting cautious optimism as well. We see a big strong rebound in Vegas and Florida on fire and California's finest legs, said uh, David Simon, the CEO of Simon Properties, minutes ago. There you go. Wow, what a week it is and what a day it is. Certainly on those corporate earnings, we see some companies giving guidance, some giving not giving guidance. What do we need to see tonight on Evening's LA? Tonight on Evening's LA, we want to see the companies that give us third and fourth or year-end guidance. Why is that so important? Because it gives us a sense of where this economy is going. We need to know where the economy is and where it's going. When we see second quarter earnings coming in right now, that's for the months ending through the month of June. We need to get guidance for the year end. We had downward guidance from Walmart several weeks ago. We had downward guidance for a lot of companies like Facebook, but we need to see more guidances for the year end because it gives us an indication of what to do with our money because we get an indication from them before anyone else. Is third quarter going to be weaker? Is third quarter going to be better? We have a lot of conflicting stories, and the best we get it is from those corporate earnings. We'll have more about that tonight on afternoons and also on evenings. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started. The toast is toast. The butter is butter, and the cough is brewing. The bacon, not so much. Still missing from supply chain disruption. <laughs> <laughs> but in the big second half, we'll go over all those incredible four stimulus checks you deserve. Step one, go into this video, become a member. Step two, stay the second half and get ready for all those incredible checks. And plus, I'll have the latest details on what's going on with this recession. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Morning Delight continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. 
The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the biggest week that there was continues across the board as we see those labor numbers coming in tomorrow. On Friday, we have the non-farm payroll numbers, and we have corporate earnings coming in day in and day out. We'll have the latest details across that tomorrow on this show. Plus, we'll see where inflation is going and whether it's peaked or not peaked. A lot to go over and a lot to see. And I'm back with you today on afternoons at 3 o'clock and evenings at 5 with brand new shows. And jump in the live feed if, you've not, if you're currently watching that. Well, welcome. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, Calcino VIP, and get those incredible checks in every U.S. state. And with that, let's go into those incredible checks starting right now. Back in the month of March, the President of the United States did a series of executive actions. And the incredible exec executive actions pay a lot of money. At the time, viewers said, L.A., can you find me some four stimulus checks? And I found them. Two great focuses, two great achievements. First, big sums of money. Second, you qualify. First, these big sums of money. About $100,000 across all these different checks. Huge sums of money. We're going to go over each of these checks in just a second. Number two, broad eligibility. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits. If you have children, if you don't have children, go get it as well. Number three, delivered to you in the membership newsletter. So straightforward. Become a member, go right on this video, join the channel, and get that membership newsletter. Go down and get each of these incredible checks. And with that, let's go over each of these checks, starting right now. The first check is check A. At $6,500 to $12,000, four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, subscribe. Step two, go into this video, join in the channel. Become a member. Welcome to the 100 new members overnight. Welcome to the existing members who have been on the channel for 18 months and continue to renew because you need to learn to earn. And welcome to all the members who are existing who upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power and won even a Calcino VIP overnight. When you get that newsletter, go down to check A. There it is. Click the link. You go right into the Nationwide website, choose your state, and then go pounds. That's the check that Spella got. But here's the check the viewer got who got 80 checks out of Florida. It's check B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. Four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, seventy five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one: go under this video, become a member. Then go down the membership newsletter. You find check B. Click the link and go get it. Wow, there you go. That is eighty thousand dollars for check B. Twelve thousand for check A. We are just getting started. One hundred thousand dollars right there. But let's go get get some check C. Check C is wonderful. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, more. Many viewers are getting over 150000 In the case of Check C, they're averaging 45000 A lot are getting $2,000 over 12 months. How do you get these incredible checks? Step one, become a member. Step two, join the channel. Then go down that membership newsletter. You find Check C. It tells you where to call, who to speak to, and what to say. This channel has been around since spring of 2020, and since that time, this channel has gotten $50 million for viewers. But we've also gotten viewers a lot of check Cs. You've done so well. And when you do well, you inspire other people. If you've had a success story, post in the live chat right now. If you've had a success story, send it me on private message on Facebook, and, and I will feature on air. Here are some of the success stories. 
Do you want these rent numbers? Then go get check C's. Nisi, all the way up to Elizabeth, 30000 How about the utilities? Mark, Angela, and Nancy, and his brother-in-law getting 15000 Go get check C's. And then the SNAP, the same brother-in-law, is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. And here we go to the combinations. Nisi, Mark, Nancy, and Lorraine is in the live chat. Nisi was at 23000 Now she went to 50000 Mark was at 32000 Well, guess what happened to Mark? He went from 32000 to this graphic, 50000 Then he went to 100000 Then he went to 166 And Lorraine, she was at 105 She's in the live chat. She went to 160 What's the common equation among Lorraine, Nancy, Lise, Lise, Nisi, Margaret, Mark, Johnny? Two things. One, they're in all the live chats, just like right now. You got to know what's going on with this economy. There's so much going on on a regular basis. I don't recap the news on a regular basis because there is so much happening. Just alone in this video, see how many breaking news stories were going on to new ones by evening. So we can't miss a single benchmark. It impacts your wallet. It impacts your money. Number two, they keep on getting checks. They keep on getting checks. Margaret had a meeting with her utility company this week. She kept on getting another check. Congratulations to her. What do you need to do? Step one, go into this video, subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America with major changes coming to this channel. First, LA Light Live, which you may be watching right now, is now expanded to a 24-hour day, seven days a week show. Now with two tickers under the screen, giving the latest updates on your stocks and the latest update on this economy. Number two, LLA.com, the website that started all no less than 20 years ago, has been relaunched to cover more about your money. Three new stories broke overnight. Jump on to LLA.com to read those stories right now. Number three. LA2 and LA3, the two new channels, join this family of channels in the next few days. A lot coming across the board. So let's recap. Step one, subscribe. Go into this video, subscribe. Step two, go into the video and join the channel. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Join this channel and get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday. Then get that bell at the front of this channel, hit it, and make sure it's set to all notifications all on. You don't want to miss any of these sums of money across the board. You don't want to miss anything you need to know. Let's go over that newsletter. It's delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So know your time zone. Delivered via the YouTube alert. This is a YouTube alert. Sent by email. Look at the title. For members only. New LA Post. Sent by YouTube. And the body of it written by me. See the body? New LA newsletter with the four emojis of... A, of mailboxes. Look at the time. It's 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Know your time zone. If your East Coast is 10, your Central is 9. Let's go down that alert. Down the alert, past the guy with the surfboard, lower, 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 to where it says view post. You click it and go in and view the post, and then you're ready to rock and roll. You're into the newsletter, and you're ready to get money. Incredible news, incredible money, incredible breaking developing details on the hour by the hour for this channel this week. We'll have more corporate earnings today on afternoons and more corporate earnings tonight on evenings. We want guidance. Why is that guidance so critically important? We want to see companies that give us third quarter, fourth quarter, or, or wonderfully if possible, year-end guidance. Why? Because we know we're in a session. We already know what happened the first two, first half of this year. We want to know if the second half of this year is going to be worse, the same, or better. And we're not getting clear read. We're getting inconsistent comments from corporate America. So we want to see more companies give us year-end guidance. There's not a lot of them, so I'll be featuring them tonight on Eden's LA. Why is it so important? Because of the financial cliff. I've been reporting for a while that the financial cliff has come in September. So if that financial cliff happens, if the corporate earnings give downward guidance, what happens? Their revenue, they believe, is going to be less, or their earnings especially will be less. And if their earnings are less, then they cut costs. They cut costs by laying people off. If they cut costs by laying people off, then more people will not potentially have a job. And they'll have problems finding a job if there's not as many jobs being created. Yeah, so this is why we need guidance across the board. Earlier this year, in February, I was the only American broadcaster to report we're going to recession. I reported in February. Then in April, the only bank to report it was Deutsche Bank. Now we are in a recession. Recession is a defined economic term. It only has one definition. Two negative quarters of GDP growth. We've posted that. 
But what we don't know is what happens thereafter. A recession is not of a blink of an eye. A recession is not one week, it's not one month, it's not two months. During the last recession, the East Coast went into recession first and the, sec and the West Coast went in last. The East Coast came out of the recession nearly six months before the West Coast. So recessions felt differently. It's also felt differently across different industries. So this is what we need to see. We need to see a lot of different industries giving us gear and guidance so we get a sense what's going to happen. What's going to happen later this year? We know a recession. We know that inflation has not yet peaked. It hasn't gone down. We know the Federal Reserve is going to raise rates. We know that labor is getting softer. We had that in the JOLTS data early in this broadcast. And we're going to see it tomorrow when the news jobless claims are released. But where will expand this weakness across the economy? Where will the weakness hit in your town, your state, your community, your business? We need to see more, more year-end guidance from corporate America because that's where it really helps us understand. Remember, when we're looking at economic data, like that CPI, PPI, and retail sales being released around August 10th, it comes once a month. When we look at that PCE, it comes once a month. But corporate earnings are always coming around the clock. Guidance, guidance for the rest of the year just comes out of nowhere. They announce and they say, here's our guidance for the rest of this year. It's very, very helpful because it gives us a big indication of what happens with your money. And ultimately, that's what we have to stay on point with. Finally, I know what goes on outside, around this circle, outside this channel. And I know that some people were trying to, among financial analysts today, say that inflation has peaked when there is no doubt that inflation has peaked. Not quite clear why they're doing that. Their narrative today was that because gasoline has come down the United States, not internationally, that inflation has peaked. Well, that's analysis. That's not data. What I'm trying to be very specific on in this channel this week is to show you what data is versus analysis. A CPI, when it comes in at 9.1% for the month of June, is data. You can't take the number and move it anywhere. It's just a number. It's 9.1. You can analyze it saying, well, it did this because of that. That's analysis. Tomorrow when we have those a new jobless claims number, I like that Thursday number. Why? It's a number. You can't pull the number anywhere. And it really is not open for interpretation either. If it's higher, it means it's worse. If it's lower, it means it's better. But when someone comes out on broadcast media and says that, Inflation's peak because based upon his analysis, something's happening with gasoline. Based upon his analysis, that means something about inflation. That's analysis. That's not data. And ultimately, here is where you have to rely on the data. When do we have data? Last Friday, that PCE, the highest number since the 1980s. The data hasn't changed that dramatically since Friday. So why is someone trying to analyze it another way? Ultimately, I request that you do the following. Rely on data first. Then you and I can analyze it together. Maybe your analysis is different than mine. That's fine. But ultimately, use the data. And that's why this channel is data dependent. This is why this channel gives you so much data. This is why we find stimulus checks because we look for them and we go get them. We are focused on the money, your benefits, raise, and more. We got a lot coming up today on Afternoons. On Afternoons at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we'll have the latest details on more corporate earnings. We'll have the latest details on what to see tomorrow with those labor numbers and on Friday with those job creation numbers. We'll give you the guidance on what to expect with labor plus the guidance on what to expect with those benefits raises. We'll go over the latest details on where CPI and retail sales could be coming in with PPI in just eight days from now. And we'll be going over more about, of course, your stimulus checks. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. God bless. Keep on pushing. Keep on getting these big sums of money. Welcome to all the new members. Stay a member and congratulations to the members who upgraded overnight. Get ready for a lot more. Come into this channel as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California. Everything was here, except the bacon. <laughs> except the bacon once again missing this morning. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering, and I'll see you throughout the day on Ally Light.